The job it does is exhausting. The exhaust system on your vehicle gets rid of harmful gases that could damage the engine. It also cleans up the gases a bit before venting them into the air. A properly functioning exhaust system does another big job, muffling the airborne noise of the engine. And for that, our ears thank them. It's a system of metal tubes and plates we only seem to notice when it breaks down. And then the muffler's importance is loudly driven home. To make an exhaust system, a mechanical puller draws a stainless steel strip up into a punch press, shuffling it back and forth to allow for a precise cut with little waste. The press brings 60 tons of force to bear as it pushes the steel into a die. It punches out a baffle shape with holes in it, which will form the skeleton for the muffler box. The finished baffles fall onto a conveyor and go into a storage cage. Now, a long steel tube tumbles to automated blades, which score the tube crosswise to prevent denting, and then cut it to produce smaller tubes that go inside a muffler. A circular saw descends on another tube to make a tailpipe. Its length depends on the type of muffler being made. A louver machine spins and punctures one of the inside tubes. The holes will regulate airflow in the muffler. A CNC bending machine grips and bends a pipe in several spots. This is how they make inlet, intermediate and outlet tubes. These tubes run the length of the exhaust system. Then they place a tube in a circular hydraulic vise, which pinches the end down to a prescribed diameter to allow for further assembly. A worker now places two baffles in a jig. He fits the tubes through the holes in the baffles so that the tubes connect the baffles. Three mandrels slide into the tubes. The mandrels expand, locking the tubes to the baffles. Then they contract and slide out. Now the baffles and tubes are one piece. Next, a robotic arm picks up metal sheets which will become the outer skin of the muffler box. It pushes them under an oval mold. Another arm with numerous rollers on it moves up and wraps the steel around the oval form. Then a metal block moves over the ends, double folding them. This locks them together and it completes the assembly of the muffler's outside skin. Magnets pick up the new skin and, sliding on rails, they relay it to a mechanical claw, which in turn feeds it to a flanger. The flanger bends the edges, creating a lip on either end of the muffler skin. A carousel turns and a mechanical claw transfers the newly flanged muffler skin to the stuffing position. Hydraulic pushers press the pre-assembled baffles and tubes inside the skin. After the muffler is stuffed, the robotic claw transfers it to a conveyor belt. Next, a worker presses each end of the muffler against a set of steel expansion fingers. The fingers move forward into holes in the muffler. They expand and lock the baffles and tubes inside to form one solid internal unit. Grippers place the muffler on a spinning machine that will fasten the caps on. Rollers press against the flared edges of the revolving muffler, tightly locking the end cap to the rest of the body. Here you see the rolling in slow motion. It takes only a few revolutions to do the job. Then the rollers back away, and a mechanical arm grabs the muffler and transfers it to a conveyor belt. 
Now these mufflers are ready to help keep the traffic din at a minimum.